Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another one of these whatever the hell tournament this is we're playing in. I don't remember. I've given up on it. So, yeah. That's about it. Um, we are going to go with our 42310 here today. Um, I've been using it on my other files, on my other save files outside of this LP and all that good shit. Um, and I've actually kind of liked it, so, you know, I'm just gonna give this a run out and show you guys it, because after this we get, like, just a bunch of friendlies to play, so, that's that. Um, yeah, um, actually we can probably put, well, yeah, we could probably play Harala out there in that, in that midfield spot. Let's do that, let's, let's put, let's try and put our best team out, just for the hell of it. I didn't even really think that far. I was like, ah, oh, hurrala, all right, whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what's going to go on here. So, anyhow, um, yeah, let's just jump right into this and all that good shit. Um, yeah. Uh, this formation is uh, actually an adaptation on what FC Bayern was using on my uh, Galway United uh save file there um the only problem the only difference is, is i dropped everyone back a layer and now there's it's striker list and there's only one attacking midfield i kind of like it um you know so yeah um like i said i kind of like it because it's it drops back a lot and is pretty dense in midfield but um i think i think the attacking is kind of kind of good i, I like the attacking play in the middle and not when you pass the ball like that, though. But anyway, um, there is usually a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, what do you want to call it? A lot of support in the middle, too. Players tend to be pretty densely packed and, you know, a lot of easy passes to get, to get onto and all that good shit. So, like I said, that's really what we're looking at, um, going forward. I think we're going to try this formation a little bit this season. Um, like I said, it's similar to what we played before, but it actually kind of suits us as to, um, you know, as far as, uh, personnel is, is concerned. I mean, you got a lot of players that are kind of, uh, kind of going to fit well into this formation. See, like that, like I said, I like, I like how densely packed we kind of are here. I mean, kind of, you know, we're pushing them back with, you know, two players, mostly because they can't find an, can't find an outlet to, to push the ball into the middle of the pitch with, which... You know, it's kind of what I like to do. I kind of like, uh, of course, you know, it doesn't help when you have terrible marking like that. And then fucking Bach, oh, Jesus. So that right there was really the only way, well, not really the only way, but the best way to um to go about unlocking this formation is dropping the ball over top of us. Um, which then, obviously, once again, requires our central defenders or our defending line back here really to be to be good and, and, and cut out those passes. But um, that will obviously remain to be seen this season. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. And see, so yeah, like that should be marking better. But whatever. Um, the the friendly we played in between this match and the last uh, actually went pretty well. We did play this formation, and it um, like I said, worked worked pretty well. Of course, these guys I think are probably better. But. Uh, and in all honesty, you know, uh, I need to check that, actually. I should go take a look and see what they, what all the other teams playing in this tournament did in terms of um, friendlies. Because, I mean, not to be a dick, but none of them are really, I mean, they're better, but not like, not, not, uh, they're not as dominating as we've seen them play against us. So I'm starting to wonder if they went through all their preseason shit already unlike us because you know like i said i mean i i didn't know i had scheduled our shift to give us a nice long break and i didn't know that we had this tournament to play in so yeah so this all of these matches have been basically our preseason matches which if they're all up to speed and all done with their friendlies and all that good shit and we're just getting into them you know obviously they're going to be a little farther along than we are and it's felt like they're miles and miles ahead so um, ideally, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on par with that. Look at that. Oh, Christ. Don't pass it. 
right tool in there. We go. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Just oh my god. You know, and what's even fucking better is we worked on defensive positioning in preparation for this game. Sure doesn't look like it though, right? I mean, we're just all over the fucking place. But uh, I swear to God, it didn't look this bad when we played in that friendly. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. But anyhow, like I said, I, I gave up on this competition. I mean, I'm, you know, like I said, we had three friendlies at least after this, maybe four. I'm not, I'm not quite, quite sure right off the top of my head, but you know, like I said, I mean, I think then we've still got another month before the regular season starts. So yeah, I mean, there's that too, right? So. <sighs> oh, oh, I don't know. Like, overall, it's really disappointing. And I do have to say, like, I mean, I've been trying to sign players. Our reputation and stuff is up there, but we just don't have the financial resources. I said this before. To to sign anybody that we have access to. Oh, my. Robbie, you're just turning this fucker inside out. And you missed the fucking net entirely. Good, good stuff. But anyhow. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's so I mean I actually started playing in Finland because I thought that we would be able to get better players faster that would be able to go I mean be able to get further along a little bit quicker but um I'm not so sure that's the case and I apologize for that it may be a while before this gets interesting and by interesting I mean you know that we get players that are good and we can do fun stuff challenge in Europe shit like that and win things as opposed to just playing like shit and being unable to mark entirely. Like right now. But, you know, as I've said before, it is what it is. We'll just have to soldier on. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of, I'm kind of regretting that starting in Iceland. Should have done that. I'm familiar with Iceland and uh, probably would have been better. I mean, lower talent ceiling. But also at the same time, I was thinking that would make things a little more interesting. Tougher teams to play, and hopefully it will in the long run, but it'd be nice if someone would, you know. There we go. Pass the ball. Forward. Not backwards. So. This does, this formation does create some, oof, that was nifty. That was nifty. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I was going to say, oh shit, are we going to sneak a goal here? They are playing better than the first two minutes so far. At least we're, you know, putting fucking something together here. Right? But, you know, it is what it is. And, oh. But anyhow, um, yeah. So after this, like I said, uh, this, I don't suspect we'll win this or... On this by enough to get into that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we uh, we have no chance. Of, I'm pretty sure if Maria won, we would uh, we would have no shot at moving up. So moving into the uh, to the second spot and, and getting into the next round. So um, that that is what it is. And like I said, I'm not really upset. I'd love to win this just for morale's sake, or at least draw. Draw would be all right. See, I just, I just like this formation. I like, I like where everyone kind of is. As long as we're passing the ball, you know, pass and move. Jackasses, uh, good thought, but I'll say that, that I'll say wasn't gonna make that run. But oh well, it is what it is. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. It's me, it's me trying to not get pissed. Oh Christ. I hate when they fall down like that in the box. It scares the shit out of me. Every time they do that, I think I'm thinking, "Oh God, it's a fucking penalty." As if we haven't had enough of those against us, right? Okay, we're at the 60-minute mark. I think we're gonna drop a Rins in there for um, Robbie just because he has a yellow card. I don't really, don't really want to risk it. You know, if that makes makes sense. It may go and take Saksela out. Um, as well, because he's not playing particularly well over there. Maybe you grunt home a chance here. Ooh, oh, no. See, right there, that position, those guys on the corner, um, what was it, Hananen and Nose should be making runs and 
like I said, when this formation gets moving and stuff like that, it's really nifty to watch. It's really, it's really fun. It's a lot of really nice runs from midfield, and um, of course, probably should have worked on attacking movement. That would have been smart, I'm sure. But chances are, see, there we go. That's a terrible pass, but you know, I can know Yala's playing like shit today too. Everyone's kind of playing like shit, but. At least we haven't surrendered a goal. See, there you go. That's a nice, nice little interception. Of course, it hits a uh, Riddens in the face. Like, <laughs> see, there you go. Now you're starting to see a little bit of that tacking move. Fucking Christ. <laughs> so it's almost comical how bad they are right now. They got a decent amount of possession. That's not terrible. Way too many fouls on our end, but let's take hassle opponents off because, I mean, we're getting away with it, but let's see if we can lessen that um, foul count. You'll see like, you saw how that little nifty one too was, you know. You'll see a lot of stuff like that with this formation because they are close together and because they're making those runs forward. You'll see a lot of nifty little one twos, you know. You'll see some shades like Arsenal every once in a while. You know, if you've ever seen, you know, Arsenal on one of their good days where they're dinking and dunking the ball around like that. Which is few and far between nowadays, but hey. That is what it is. Hey, look at you intercepting the ball like a champ. Now you don't know what to do with it, do you? Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oyala. Oh, holy shit. Wow. That was some nice finishing for once. I'm, I'm happy with that. I like how Oyala's like team rating all of a sudden goes, or player rating goes from like 6.3 to 7 all of a sudden because he gets a goal. I mean, I don't know. Goals are nice, and I and I see how they impact that shit, and, and can kind of turn things around for a player. But personally, you know, I'm a bit critical when it comes to comes to shit like that, you know. And one thing that is also nice about this formation is, um. It tends to to do a pretty good job of um of uh, minimizing the amount of shots and chances that the opposition gets. Um, obviously, it gets better opposition and shit like that. You're not gonna see much of that, but I mean, ooh, ooh, man, I really wish, I really wish you wouldn't have called that one back. I would have liked to see Nose try and you should just just get a yellow there. Yeah, all right. But in general, like I said, it does a pretty good job of minimizing the opposition's chances. Um, I actually rolled this uh, one of the first times I used this formation, um, at least uh, competitively, was against uh, Arsenal when I was uh, with Galway United. Um, and uh, they have this 352 that just has my fucking number. I mean, it just gives me fits. We just cannot seem to, to generate really any any offense against their their 3-5-2 and with this formation actually we did pretty well I mean no one neither side generated more than I think eight shots I think we had eight and they had like five maybe four something like that I mean it, and, and that was at the Emirates so I mean it ended in a 1-1 draw because of some terrible marking off a fucking corner but see yeah see now you're starting to see us kind of outnumber people back there too. I don't know if you're starting to see those open spaces open up where Ayala can run into or somebody else. But um, oh, I was hoping that sneak behind him there for a second give us an insurance goal. But like I said, it I like this formation a lot. It really does really does give us some options um, offensively and defensively too. I mean, gives us gives us a chance to get out of that that other uh, three four two one zero, which I do like. And we will probably swap between that one and this one, depending on what we have. That that's at least the plan going forward. I I want to be able to use um uh you know a couple of formations, a couple of different formations, and those are the two formations that I'm really looking for. Um, that four one two three zero that we have. Oh, beautiful pass. Nice. See, you know, still so you're starting to see a little bit of a our offensive uh, abilities with this formation. Like I said, I like it a lot. 
I, I really like it a lot. But, um, you know, you know, those are the two formations I said that I wanted to use. And the 4 one 2 three, zero is one that I want to use um, sparingly because it is such a offense-heavy formation. What I use it for with my Galway United file is I use it in the Champions League mostly. Um, and the reason I do that is because, A, it's a formation that I don't use very often. So, therefore, they don't. Um, they don't see it and they don't prepare for it. Um, really, because I'm using the other formations. So kind of, I'm, I'm using like a kind of a, I'm using the other formations as a smoke screen because I can get by in the domestic league with, um, with, with using more defensive formations and, and shit like that. I can get by with that sort of stuff. And then I unveil the, you know, really offensive attacking formation, which is that move. Nice. Which is that four one two three zero? You know, I use I use that like I said in the Champions League to really go after an on an opponent at home. And the reason I didn't use it um, against that Arsenal game that I mentioned is because last time I used that four one two three zero. I mean, we really didn't have much much success. And I think I actually switched away from it halfway through the match because I had like no fucking possession because I had so many players forward. They were in behind that five-man midfield and never got the ball because I couldn't get it past I couldn't get it through that five-man midfield so that's why I changed to this formation to compact and combat that heavier midfield formation that they have so like I said this formation typically doesn't really give like doesn't um doesn't really get much of the possession I mean, we're doing pretty well here today, and I have seen it kind of give us like that 53-47 advantage, something around in that in that um, area. Um, the 4-1-2-3-0 can give us an absolute boatload. Wow, Harala, what a nice run that was. That can really give us a boatload of, um, of possession. Um, well, however, as I've said before, the reason I don't want to use it game in and game out is because it is kind of fragile at the back not very stable um and when you don't have the talent advantage it, it, i don't think it really works as well i mean it's it it can do great wonders but it's not something to use game in and game out i've, I've noticed i mean i've tried using it and like i said i mean just the overall performance is not where i want it to be and i think we achieve better performance with different formations like this one um and the uh, the three four two one zero, um, so yeah, that's that's kind of my my philosophy behind that. We're gonna use these formations probably as a more game in game out thing, and then switch it up and use that um, use our uh, four one two three zero to to really go after um, opponents sparingly, most likely in things like finals and shit like that. You know, like I said, it's a formation that they don't see very often. However, the play style and everything is exactly similar to this. The only difference is a change in the formation. As you know, as, as you know, it's more offensively oriented. Oh my God! Wonderful stuff. See, wonderful shit. We are just fucking rolling now. God damn. Where was this? Where was this for like the last three games? Seriously. But anyhow. Um. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, this really gives us a much more stable stable defense to build from like i said we compact midfield and overflow it so therefore they got to drop those long balls over the top of us which once again if our defenders defend well and anticipate it you know it it's easier to defend in a way and then then teams kind of passing through us passing through the middle of the park I mean, it's, like I said, I mean, we can get caught kind of deep, as, as you just saw there. I mean, we can get caught kind of deep, but I also like, you know, nine players defending. See, like that right there. Th those are the plays that are going to gonna screw us when, when we make that decision and we, we miss. Our defenders misjudge it, which, once again, it boils down to having good defenders. You know, um, and honestly, Bachman isn't terrible, but... You know, Oles and them. I mean, we've got more depth and shit now, but I don't think really we upgraded all that much. If we did, it was just a minor upgrade, and I don't think we're going to see much difference in performance considering the upgraded talent that we're going to be facing. But that should do it for this match right here. Come on. Blow the whistle. 
There we go. Look at that. 3 0 win over my pop. Got off to a rocky first half, but I mean, we settled down and I kind of lit a fire under their ass halfway through it. So, hey, it worked this time. So, anyhow, um, yeah, once again, good stuff. So, out of our first, what? Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought Maria, if they won, they would go into the qualification spots. But you know what? Okay, I I'm going to say this. Overall, at the end of it, some disappointing performances, yes, but to finish the group in third place, only two points behind qualification for the next round, I'm not too upset. We did get a couple of good wins, good 3-0 wins. I think the other one was 3-0, wasn't it? Something like that. A couple of draws and a couple of disappointing losses. But, you know what, like I said, uh, not terribly terribly upset i mean we're gonna we're really gonna focus on this competition later obviously i mean like i said i didn't know it was there i like i said i should have i should have researched that shit and just you know took a look at that sort of stuff but i didn't so yeah hopefully we can get some fans in the fucking stands i don't know if you look at this much but our attendance was 240 i think we've got a 5,000 seater stadium or something like that which isn't terrible just pretty good. Hopefully we can start filling the stadium with fucking people this year. That'd be nice. And then, of course, we'll see the financial ramifications of that and hopefully have a little bit more of an increased wage budget is really what I'm after right now. I mean, I can get by without having a transfer for a while because with my Galway United file, I think I went like four or five seasons without really having much to spend. I mean, we're talking, you know, maybe a couple hundred thousand, if that, which... I'm pretty good spending my money when it comes to transfer budgets, quite honestly. Am my am I honest opinion? I think I'm pretty good. But um Yeah. Um so at least we have some something to build on there. So like I said, you saw you saw that formation, what, what we're gonna do there with the four two three one zero. That I think is what we're gonna hang our hat on this season. Um we have the players for it. It allows us to put two defensive midfielders on and gives us a little more attacking oomph than the 34210. Um mostly because the 34210 requires more individual talent and we don't have all that great of individual talent right now. So yeah, I think we're gonna stick with what we were using today. Um, because like I said, it puts more numbers forward and there's some nice runs as long as they run forward. Like I said, you saw that in the second half and I actually started making runs at the opposition's defense and just filling holes when players moved. I mean, there were chances abound. I mean, you know, three goals and those were all pretty easy goals. I mean, in my honest opinion, I mean, those are, those are the types of easy chances you want to create. But anyhow, um, that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching and bye.